All right, so apparently this don't turn on. It says on the job sheet, it says HDMI port replacement, other port replacement, and no power. So I honestly don't know what to expect. But there's no HDMI port in there, and uh, yeah, I just really don't know what to expect. But hey ho, it's a money job. And uh, let's see what the deal is. Okay, completely not turning on. Cool. Thank you to PCBWay for sponsoring today's video. As the industry leader in custom PCB manufacturing, PCBWay is the only solution you'll ever need for all your engineering projects. With affordable custom PCBs, flexible PCBs, CNC and 3D printing, you can get your project off the ground today. With the PCBWay store, you can purchase development boards, tools and everything you'll need to get started. Prices are competitive and the possibilities are endless. From multimeters to microchips, PCBWay have it all. And if you're struggling for inspiration, you can find pre-made projects by like-minded engineers. To learn more about the PCBWay store, shared projects or any of PCBWay services, head to the video description where you'll find links to the great products and services that PCBWay offer. Now let's get back to the repair. So, ugh, it's pointless even peeling that sticker because it's already been damaged. Alright, that screw's missing. I'll replace that screw if I get it working. But, uh, yeah, it should be interesting. And, uh-oh. What the hell has happened there? Yeah, that isn't good. That is not good at all. That is bad news. Okay, the Nexus connector's hanging off on this. Yeah. All right. Okay. Okay. Actually, let's just show you quickly under the skull. Yeah. That's just a little bit melted, I would say. I'll leave that to sink in for a minute. Because people are asking who the hell did this. I don't need to say any more. It's just whether it's done any damage to the board. Right, let's take care of that later on. On that APU board, let's deal with this first. Alright, well, hey, if we push those back in, there you go, look, it's fixed. Who needs that pin anyway? Alright, let's remove this. So this is the Nexus connector, it's the connector that connects up the power board to the main safe bridge board. I do sell these connectors, by the way, if anyone is in need of any of them. Just get in touch. I've got them on eBay, but don't buy them off eBay. If you need to buy any, just contact me directly. I'll do you a good deal. All right, let's just let that cool down.
Cable Killer just resubscribed for three months. Sponsored by Jeff. <laughs> Thank you, mate. I appreciate that. Cheers, Pavel. Yeah, if anyone wants to help Jeff Bezos sponsor me, just link an Amazon Prime account to Twitch and uh, he'll take some money directly out of Bezos' pocket and into mine. And it'll be awesome because then I'll be able to afford to pay attention. Let's clean that up. Right, there's the new Nexus connector. No bridges. Happy days. Why is your desk so clean? Twitch made me clean it up. I said, if you don't clean it, we're taking away your affiliate money. So I had to clean it. <laughs> uh, right, that's that done. So now it's time to do this one. Because I'm in the mood for fixing. What the hell has happened to this heatsink? Okay, it's not too bad. There's one, two, three, four, five traces that I've got to restore out of that lot. So it would seem that those ground legs are a bit wamboozled. Lovejoy5001 just gifted five subs. Lovejoy, you absolute legend. Thank you, dude. I really appreciate that, mate. Thank you so much. I've actually sat there and munched this port for breakfast. I just want to get this solder to flow through the holes a little bit. Right, you might notice I've exposed those traces for jumper wires in like a staggered um, whatever you want to call it, um, basically they're staggered, alright? Um, so the reason for that is so as I don't end up shorting them out on each other. So I'm going to run the jumper wires and then I'll drop the uh, new port on. It's the first one. Forget 2212 just resubscribed for seven months. Forget, thank you, mate. I really appreciate that, buddy. I'm glad you didn't forget to resubscribe. I appreciate that, mate. Thank you. Number two. Number three. By the way, I don't need to fill this entire pad as long as it comes far enough for the pins to make contact, which is going to be about there. 
Right, because of, because of where the pads actually go. You might notice I'm trying to follow the original route as well. And that's because there's not much tolerance in terms of trace length. Like going this way doesn't matter, but the trace length from here to the encoder, from the start of the pin to the encoder does matter. There's something like a 3mm tolerance or something that you can have in difference, which isn't much at all. I'm trying to follow my, trying my best to follow the original path. There we go. I'm just putting some conformal coating over this, it's like a, a glue. Damn. Ellis, you're an absolute beast. I hope you know that, mate. You're an absolute legend, mate. Thank you. I really appreciate that, buddy. Okay, that will do it. Time for some UV light. Time for the motherboard to get a sun tan. Time for the motherboard to get a sun tan. Time for the motherboard to get a sun tan. Because it likes to look good for the daddy board. Ha, 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 ha. Anonymous just gifted 10 subs. Dude. You guys are legends, man. Man, thank you guys. I really appreciate it. Meanwhile, the PCB is melting. <laughs> to whoever that was, thank you so much. Heat and drop method. Alright, that should be good. I'm just going to run the iron over. I'll sort that bridge out in a second. And that one. That will do it. We've got a perfectly connected port with trace repair that's actually going to last let's just sort out these ground legs they're not in great condition not happy with those ground legs now I'm happy with the ground legs Nice and shiny look, look at that, beautiful. It doesn't really take that long to connect everything up on these and actually put it back together properly. Hey, she's turning on. Now the question is, does she work? Uh, we are displaying, but it's in low resolution. The question now is, is it going to display in 1080 pixels? And then, is it going to display in 4K? I certainly hope so. They're working 4K. Hey, 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 there we go. Oh, hang on. Why are you in 1440? No. I said 4K, dickhead. Thank you. 
Yep, yeah, and it's on auto detect. There we go. This is done. I mean, bit of trace repair here and there. No biggie. Uh, um, no. Has done my trace repair, Nexus connector repair, and he's going to need that replacing as well to finish this off. To get this working perfectly, it'll need this replacing. Thank you all for hanging out. I do appreciate it. Genuinely, as always. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you all in the next one. Thank you all for hanging out. Thank you all for the support. Really do appreciate it. Take care, everyone. Good night.